In this video, I'm going to show you how to use unlimited cursor for free to make websites with no technical knowledge. And anybody can use this video start to finish. If that sounds good, I want you guys to leave a like, subscribe, and turn post notifications on. And I'm going to try to make this the best vibe coding video you've ever watched. And by the end of this video, you have your own fully functional website with free hosting that you can share with the world. And leave any comments that you have down along the way. Okay, guys, how to use all of the cursor features completely for free unlimited and by the end of the video you have your own fully functional website that's fully self-hosted that you can share with the world how to use all of the features of cursor you're going to want to go to your top hand browser go to google.com press enter you're going to type in anti-gravity you're going to click on the first link this works on windows it's on mac it's on linux since i'm on a mac it's automatically showing a mac but whatever operating system you're on, you're just going to click this middle download button. Once you're here, you'll see three options, Mac, Windows, Linux. You're going to choose the operating system that you're on. Since I'm on Mac, Silicon, I'm going to pick a Mac and download. Once it's downloaded, you should see the installer like this. You're going to double click to open. When you see the installer pop up, you're going to drag and drop it like so. You'll see anti-gravity install and do its thing. After it's installed, you're going to open anti-gravity. After anti-gravity is open, you should see a screen like this. If you don't like the original layout, you can also change it to a different color and theme. What you're going to want to do is click on the settings, click on themes, click on color themes. And there's a bunch of different predefined themes. If you like a more darker theme, you can choose that as well. What you're going to want to do next is click on login with Google. You're going to need to log in with an existing Google account. Or if you don't have one, you can click on create account. Since I have an account, I'm going to log in with my account. You're going to click on sign in. This is just authenticating. And once you see this, you're going to just press allow. And you can see here we're successfully signed in with our Google account. You can see it doesn't say login of Google anymore. What you're going to want to do next is create a brand new folder. So you can see I opened up my desktop and I'm creating a brand new folder. And I'm going to call this tech Kevin cursor website. I'm going to press enter cursor website. And you can see here this is a completely empty folder that we just created with nothing in there. What you're going to want to do go back to anti-gravity. Click on open folder and then you're going to just find that folder from earlier that we just created. Tech Kevin cursor website. Click open. You should see a screen like this. This is the empty folder that we just created. Next, I'm going to show you how to vibe code the website. Once you're here, you're going to go to planning. Make sure it's in planning mode. Then when you click on models, you have a bunch of different models that you can use for free. And these are all the features of cursor, pretty much all the same exact models and even more that they use from Gemini 3, Claude Sonnet. Claude Opus and more. Once you go to prompt, you can type in anything you want. I'm going to type in create me a React website for a business website. And then, then literally just one prompt, press enter. Next up, you'll see the AI anti-gravity start to do its thing. You can see here, it's literally going to vibe code in this empty project folder that we just created. And we typed in literally one prompt and we're going to let it do its thing in vibe code. So what it does is once you type in your prompt, it creates the plan in planning mode. And then once the plan is looks good, then it will it will authenticate and then you press proceed and it will vibe code the plan for you. Okay, so once the vibe code is successfully done, you'll see a message like this. It'll say like it'll just say like your website is complete or so, and it'll give you like a link and stuff like that, and it'll show you a walkthrough. Next, you're gonna open up your terminal. Once terminal is open, you're gonna type in CD space. Next, you're going to open up the desktop folder or wherever you created a project. You can see here the Tech Cabin Cursor website folder. We're going to take this business website, drag and drop the link in here like so. Press enter, type in npm run dev. And you can see here it gives you a localhost link here. You're going to copy this localhost link. Open up your web browser, paste it in, and we'll see the result. And here's the result from one single prompt. You can see here it's not perfect. But you can see here, this is like pretty much just a basic website. I'll show you an even better way to make it better. Go back to your internet, go to reative.org. And from here, I'll give you guys a $30 coupon link that you can use. So you can pick any theme that you want to use. Or if you want, you can just use that existing free one that we just made. This one looks good. So I found this one that looks pretty nice. And you can click a live preview if you want as well. So we're going to be using this theme. This is a fully complete theme out, a complete theme that we're going to be using. All the pages, all of the off pages and everything are just complete. And it saves you a lot of time. And the dashboard is even if you, if you want to do admin dashboard or whatever. So you can just choose regular license is enough. Or if you want an extended, you can do that as well and view the details. But regular license is just enough for what we're trying to do. We're going to add the cart. Once you see the coupon, enter Tech Kevin. And when you enter Tech Kevin, you get $30 off the retail price. So it goes from $49 to $19. And it's for $20, bucks, you can save a lot of time. Then you're going to check out and download. 
if you don't want to use this option, you can also just fix up the option that we created in the beginning and host it for free as well. Okay, so once you successfully checked out and you bought the theme and then you have it, you should get a zip file and you downloaded the zip file to your desktop, to your computer. You're going to double click the desktop, the zip file to open, and then you'll see it here, Canvas SAS. This is just the one that we used, but you can pick any other one you want. Okay, so what we're going to do next is go back to anti-gravity. Okay, so you're going to close anti-gravity. You're going to reopen anti-gravity so you can see this option again to open folder. We're going to open folder and open the Canvas SAS. To make this easier, I'm going to name this project Tech Heaven Cursor Website 2. Brand new anti-gravity. Click open folder. And you're going to go to that folder that we just created. Tech Heaven Cursor Website 2. This is the one with the, the brand new theme that we bought. Click open. Let's, let's run it locally to make sure it works first. Open up a brand new terminal. Press CD. And this is the one. This is the template that we just bought. We're going to drag and drop it in. You're going to do npm install. To install the npm packages. Next, you're going to do npm run dev to run the local host. You'll get a link like again like so. Copy it. Open up your web browser again. Next, we're going to paste the link in. And there you go. This is this is the local host the link and everything is running perfectly. Okay, and you can see here that we open anti-gravity did of the existing project that we bought and we downloaded and we can see that it's that we confirmed that it's running locally like so. So, we're going to be using this to create and literally any website you want. And I'm going to show you how to create this. Turn this, turn this template into a shop. But you can literally change this template into anything else that you want. Once you open the project folder here, you're going to go to your prompt. Make sure you're in planning mode. You can use any of these models that you want. I'll just use Gemini 3 Pro. And you're going to type in this prompt or whatever prompt you want. But I want to tell it to just change this project into an uh, e-commerce shop. I want you to take this template, redo everything in the project into Tech Kevin Shop. Keep the same UX. Brand, identity, style, colors, redo everything into an e-commerce shop UI. Make sure you complete all pages and everything. I made sure it's in planning mode and I picked the model I liked. I press enter and we'll let it vibe code and do its thing. Okay, and you can see here Tech Heaven Shop walkthrough popped up and we can see the confirmation message that it's complete. And let's check out the website that it's vibe coded from the existing theme that we use. Open up terminal, type in CD. You're going to drag and drop the existing website we did into here like so. Press enter, press NPM, run dev to run the project. And we're going to check out the website that it created. Open up your web and here we go. The, we can see here that it used the existing UI brand and everything, but it created a shop. Wow. Okay, okay, wow, this is actually kind of nice, a tech shop. So we can click a uh, example product, see if it works. Wow, even the product pages work. Wow, you can change the quantity. Wow, I'm actually impressed. This is one single prompt from the existing UI. Okay, so you can type in different pages. Not all the images work, but that's an easy fix. Wow, you can add the cart. Wow, when you add the cart, it even has like the, the cart pages on. Is there a checkout page? Wow, and there's even a checkout page. Once you have the website and it looks good, I'll show you how to host it completely for free. Open up a brand new tab. Go to github.com. Click on sign up if you don't have an account. Since we have an account, we're going to sign up. But if you don't have an account, you're going to, you can sign up with a Google, Apple, or email. Okay, we have an account, we're going to sign in. Once you're in the um, GitHub dashboard, you should see a screen like this. Click on new. And once you're on this page, you'll see repository name. You're going to click on this one. You're going to click on that and name it. To make it easier, we'll just name it the same uh, project folder. Tech Kevin Cursor Website 2. Click Create Repository. And you'll see a screen like this. You're going to scroll down to upload an existing file. Once you see this page, go back to your desktop. If you remember so, Tech Kevin Cursor Website, I want to use the one that we, that we just created. So for the one that we just created, you're going to drag and drop everything in here. But keep in mind, don't drag and drop the node underscore module folder. We're going to drag and drop everything except that. Okay, so I'm going to drag and drop everything except that. You can see I skipped node underscore modules, but you can you can name, you can type that anything you want for commit changes. That's just like the commit message. And once it's successfully uploaded, you should see a screen like this. And it will even show the readme with instructions, how to run it. And you can see you can change this as well. It's the canvas SAS. It's just a SAS website template that we use to, to create our shop with, but you can change that as well. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, go back to your search browser. Type in vercel.com. Press enter. Click on sign up. Click on personal projects, click on name, continue with GitHub. But since we have an account, we're going to log in. Once you're on the screen, you're going to click on add new. You're going to click on project. And when you see this screen, you should see the tech Kevin cursor website that we just created. So the project that we just created should show on top. If it's not there, you can also type it in like so. And once you found it, you're going to click on import. Once you see this new project window pop up, it's literally just going to leave everything on the default settings. Click on deploy.
You can, once you see this congratulations message, it means your shop is successfully uploaded and it's hosted completely for free. And we're going to click the link to confirm that it's hosted. Okay, there we go. And this is the live website, the live shop that we just created. We just vibe coded from one single prompt based off the existing project we had. And we literally just made the shop completely from scratch with the prompt of the existing project. Wow. So everything is working. We're at 10, for example, the animations, all, all the UI is working all the, the pause shop pages and you can even finish complete this website and add more stuff if you wanted to as well don't forget to use the coupon code so for whatever theme that you guys want on creative.org for 30 dollars off anything any theme that you want thanks for watching i'll see you guys again in the next video